All right, so let's get right into telling you the best jobs to let you travel the world because we have a little issue here. According to surveys, 95% of people want to travel within the next 15 months. And 87% of workers, if they were offered a remote option, would take their employers up on it. So it's becoming more and more common for people that want to work remote and many of them want to travel as well. I go to America! And this is something that I started doing a little bit over a year ago when I still had a full-time job. My first time working remote was when I was in Puerto Rico with my best friend John on vacation. And after this trip, my life was never the same again because I just simply could not go back to working normally. Because while I was on this trip, not only did I have a great time, but I also met a bunch of people who were working remote while they were living there. And I saw the kind of lifestyles that they were living, being able to work remote while they're at the beach or a coffee shop or getting lunch. And in their free time, they could go out, experience the local culture, Culture, try mafungo, go skydiving, etc. But you might be thinking, Shane, this is only something you can do if you work in the tech industry or if you're really lucky, you work in business and you get to travel places like a consultant. And most people can't do that. Well, there are actually a ton of options out there for you to work remote that a lot of people don't know about and many of them you can switch to from your current job. And in today's video, I am going to give you 10 different ideas of remote jobs that are going to allow you to travel. So the first one is going to be an instructional designer. Now, essentially what this is, is they are a person who creates videos that are interactive and they're typically for the purpose of education or training. So for instance, you may have started a new job and you kind of have to go through some law compliance training, like how to you know not break the law in your new job. And typically you'll be watching these videos and then a question will pop up. And then you'll have to answer the question. Maybe you get it right, maybe you get it wrong. Uh, if you get it right, you get to go into the next part. If you get it wrong, maybe it tells you what you did wrong. Maybe it makes you do some sort of extra training. And chances are the person who created that was an instructional designer. So as you can imagine, over the last few years, education went almost completely online. And the need for instructional designers that can create this educational content that's also interactive is higher than ever. Now, I personally have a friend who is an instructional designer. He started off working a job, then he did freelance, and then he started his own business. And you can make an insane amount of money in instructional design. Um, it does say on Glassdoor, they make about $78,000 a year. And there are a lot of opportunities at the job level, freelance as well as starting your own business. You can work for large corporations. There's a lot of good government contracts you can get. Those are especially good. But yeah, instructional design is great and all you really need is a powerful laptop that can handle the rendering and you're pretty much good to go. Next one on the list is going to be an athletic scout. These are people who kind of go all over the country checking out different talent. Depending on the organization you work for, you might have a lot more freedom. You know, some organizations are gonna tell you you have to go to this place to check out this talent and evaluate it. Other organizations are kind of just going to leave you to your own devices and let you find those diamonds in the rough, right? So you might be the person who goes somewhere that nobody else goes. There's no other scouts there. And Glassdoor has scouts making about $73,000 a year. Next one on the list is not going to be a specific career, but it's actually a bunch of different careers that are currently emerging right now. And these are going to be huge in the future. And that's basically any career that revolves around social media and specifically content creation. So Mr. Beast very recently was just offered $1 billion for his brand. And he very wisely turned that $1 billion down. Others say that he's actually worth more than $10 billion and he shouldn't accept any offer below that. And this is an emerging trend. A lot of social media brands are getting more and more powerful. After all, Mr. Beast in a week probably gets more views than the entire World Cup. And typically, people who are running billion dollar businesses are going to need a ton of employees. And these employees are going to have to have very niche skills that don't really exist. There's not really an infrastructure for developing those skills at this time. So, for instance, Mr. Beast probably has an entire team of people who help him write scripts. And it's not just video creation, it's basically all different types of content creation. And there's a ton of careers that you've probably never even thought about. So, for instance, on blogs, there are typically people whose full time job is to just reach out to other blogs that have a lot of what's known as domain authority and get backlinks from them. And you might think this isn't a very important job, but it's actually incredibly important because backlinks will make or break your blog. A few backlinks on a post might bring you from page 10 all the way up to the first page, which can make a difference between, you know, making $100 a month and making $10,000 or $30,000 a month on that one blog post. So having full time people who reach out to other blogs to try to get backlinks to your blog is incredibly valuable and it directly translates to 
to more money for your blog. And so if you can get really good at this super niche, weird skill set of getting backlinks, you can make a ton of money doing it. And I am currently trying to kind of hire people to help me with the script writing and the research process for my videos because it is a ton of work and it would be great if I had somebody out there who could help me with that. But it is a very specific skill set that you can't just like go on a job board and look for somebody who has that skill. I have a very specific skill set. So if you are an enterprising young person and you want to reach out to a content creator and be like, hey, here is a script for a video that I think would do really well on your channel. Here's all the research I did. You know, you make it really easy for them to read it, really easy for them to deliver it on camera, and of course, really easy for the video editor to edit it as well. That can be incredibly lucrative. Next one on the list is going to be event coordinator. And this is specifically the type of event coordinator who would be doing international events. And you typically be handling all of the infrastructure and technical side of hosting an event. Now, this type of job requires you to be very clutch. You have to sort of be able to foresee problems that might pop up before they pop up and always have a backup plan because there's nothing worse than your event is about to start and all of a sudden you have some sort of technical problem and there's like 300 people, you know, staring at you and you don't know what to do. And event coordinators make about $52,000 a year. And by the way, there is a job board that only focuses on remote remote, uh, travel and work from home type jobs. It's called flex jobs. And so if you're somebody who wants to see what types of jobs are out there that could be remote, or you're somebody who wants to land a remote job, I highly recommend checking that out because there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of different options for types of jobs that you can do remotely. And you'd be really surprised because there's even like medical jobs, for instance, that you can do remote. So definitely check that out. I'll put them down in the description and the pinned comment below. Next one on the list is going to be some sort of travel crew type job, whether you are on the flight crew or a yacht crew. Now, I think this one is relatively obvious, but if you are a flight attendant or you're a pilot or something along those lines, you are going to be able to go all over the world. And a lot of the time, especially depending on the airline you work for, you will have a lot of control over where you go. Now, the pay for this one varies greatly, but if you're able to work on a luxury yacht, something along those lines, you can work maybe six months out of the year and make six figures. And there's people who make short form content on like TikTok and you know, Instagram reels and stuff like that who work on these luxury yachts and they share like how much they make and what their day to day life is like. And it looks pretty cool. Next on the list is going to be data analyst. This is one that I've talked about quite a bit on the channel. It can be very lucrative. You can definitely make easily over $80,000 a year, even crack into the six figures. And basically you're somebody who is responsible for working with data. Next one is very similar to data analyst. I've talked about this one quite a bit as well on the channel, and that is software developer. You do have to be relatively big brain to work as a software developer. It's not the easiest job in the world to do. But yeah, you're going to be the one who is coding different applications, websites, etc. And it can be incredibly lucrative. Software developers can easily make it into the $200,000, $300,000 a year range. Next one is another one that I talk about quite a bit on the channel. Phenomenal career. I think this one applies to a lot of different people. For some reason, a lot of people really like this one and that is digital marketer. Now there's a bunch of different types of digital marketers. You can work in SEO, which is search engine optimization, where you would be basically optimizing blogs so that the search engine will have the blog pop up as high as possible. You can also work in pay-per-click, which is basically paid advertising. You can do social media marketing, all kinds of different stuff like that. There's tons of opportunities within digital marketing. So yeah, really good one. Highly recommend you check this one out. Next one on the list is journalist, and this one is no surprise. If you're a journalist, you're typically going to go different places in order to cover a story or talk to people that are involved in the story. And there's a lot of different sub niches within journalism as well. And many journalists are actually going independent, which I think is a great thing. Because in my opinion, I think everybody would agree with me, the media kind of sucks, right? Like, you pretty much go to one channel and you know exactly what they're gonna say before they even say it. They basically tell a certain demographic of people exactly what they wanna hear. <laughs> and they're not reporting things objectively. They leave things out if it's inconvenient for that demographic. So I think it's really cool that a lot of journalists are going independent, and I definitely trust independent journalists much more than I trust big media organizations. And I think a lot of people would sort of agree with me on that as well. But yeah, there are a lot of different journalist-related jobs out there where you can travel. Next one on the list is consultant, and I did mention this one at the beginning of the video, but it's a really good one to get into. And there are a ton of different types of consultants, 
consultants, there's medical consultants, management consultants, all kinds of different ones. And oftentimes consultants will travel all over the country or in some cases even all over the world in order to consult with businesses to make them better. And you might do a contract where you stay there for a week or maybe a month or longer. Next is going to be a recruiter. And this is somebody who works with companies to find them the best talent. Now, a lot of the time recruiters will get some sort of base pay, but they get paid extra when they find that company a really good employee, right? So they do all the process of vetting the employee, making sure they're qualified for the position, making sure, you know, they don't have like a, a record or anything like that. And then they will recommend people to the company. The people go through the process with the company. And if they make it, if they make it past like the first 90 days or something like that, typically they will get a really nice bonus. Check out this video right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I will see you next time.